Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk about the art of letting things go and I want to give you some experiences and techniques that I have used to eliminate some invisible chains that have been on my life basically. And hopefully you can use my techniques and they will help you as well. Step one is you have to identify what's holding you back. So what I did is I would sit there in silence and reflect. Um, I would think, and generally if you're already on this video, you already know basically there's something that's holding you back. Step one is to identify. Um, so you, what I did was I sat in silence and I, I reviewed my life basically. Uh, let's see. So what I identified was gaming. Um, Gaming was holding me back, uh, you know, I, w I wouldn't just game for, you know, an hour. I would game for like three to four hours a day. And I realized that the stuff I want to do in life doesn't align with that. So, you know, if I'm gaming all the time, how can I do anything else? I just had a difficult time controlling my gaming time. And I mean, I would see my Xbox at my entertainment center, and it was just there. Now the controller was out, I could just press the middle button, and it would start playing. So, I mean, and I'd lose time. Um, I'd lose a lot of time. I've lost so many hours, countless hours. It's exhausting. So you identify, you acknowledge, you know, that something's holding you back. And then you kind of have to, what I did was I eliminated the trigger. You know how? I sold my Xbox. Yeah. I sold it. It's gone. Um, yeah, and it's, it's helped me tremendously. So, I mean, now I can focus on the things that I, I want to focus on, for instance, this channel, and to help others kind of identify their hidden chains and to break them. So another thing is when you do identify it and a lot of times it will be a battle whether it's uh, and a hidden you know something that you're not letting go of that you need to I mean it's obviously a hindrance to your life and it can be anything it can be past relationships toxic relationships it can be you know gaming drugs, porn, whatever. And some of these are very hard to break. Like these bad habits and basically bad things are very difficult to break. Um, sometimes you're gonna fail. And I believe me, I failed a ton. <sighs> I did. And one of the, the thing, the key with that is when you are trying to change, you will fail sometimes. And when you fail, it's okay. The don't be, don't beat yourself up about it. That's, you have to forgive yourself quickly. So, you know, for example, if I went back to gaming and I gamed four hours, you know, I could beat myself up about that. Or I could just chalk it up, you know, let it roll off my back and keep progressing. Because you really shouldn't beat yourself up because that does more harm than good. Um, let's see. Hold on. I got some notes here. Because it's, it's, it's actually really hard to stay focused the whole time. When you do decide to go for it, um, the sooner the better. You know, I've waited so long and I've known in the back of my mind that I've needed to change for a long time. And I would keep pushing it away, keep pushing away, and it just got worse and worse. Um... The sooner the better. And yeah, I got these these steps here. I wrote down. Um, step one, acknowledge, identify. Step two, release and forgive. Like when you do fail, forgive yourself and release. I guess forgiveness is a big part of it too because you have to forgive to, to be able to move forward. So... You know, whether someone does you wrong, whether you feel like it's you, you have to forgive yourself, you have to forgive others, 
and just keep going. And there's an eyelash in my eye. Okay, I got it. Oh, step three, um, I put uh, cultivate self-compassion and, you know, love yourself you, through the good and bad. I think that's key, and a lot of people, and myself, I've also had a trouble just liking who I am as a person. And I think that's part of it. That's going to hold you back as well. It's held me back for a long time. Step four, embrace the change. So, you know, just, and that's part of life. Change is never going to stop throughout this life. You're going to have to adapt and roll with the punches. Rocky says, uh, it's not how hard you hit. It's about how hard you get hit and keep going. And Rocky's right. Rocky be right. Focus on the present moment. You know, meditation has helped me tremendously. Acknowledge, identify, forgive, release and forgive, cultivate self-compassion, self love yourself, embrace change and adaptability, and then focus on the present moment. I mean, that's what's helped me the most, and I think that's what can help you. Yeah, uh, if you found this content helpful, subscribe. And I'll keep you updated. This this YouTube channel is mainly going to be about uh, self growth and development. That's that's what I want this to be basically. So if you have any questions, you know, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.